This week on Machinery Pete TV, Mike Stetzel's Red Collection is up for auction, including this low hour 8940 that he had to grab up quick at his local dealer. We'll look at a rare front wheel assist 4320, and Pete looks back at the pre def pre tier 4 equipment of 2011. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Folks, we got a big show for you today, Machinery Pete TV. We're here in Warren, Indiana for the Farm Retirement Auction, an online sale for Stetzel Farms. And owner Mike Stetzel, I tell you, he has a beautiful line of red tractors, including an 8940, just over $4,500. It's going to be fun to watch that baby sell. But first, we've got to go back to the studio and get the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. And early warm-up has farmers itching to get planters rolling. So how much of the major crops does USDA expect to be planted? It's just released its initial expectations, showing a combined acreage of corn, soybeans, and wheat at 225.5 million acres. That would be about 1% lower than last year. Breaking it down by crop, USDA calling for 91 million acres of corn, 87.5 million acres of soybeans and 47 million acres of wheat, with corn and wheat both lower and soybeans up about 4 million acres. Meanwhile, the Association of Equipment Manufacturers hoping to see a rebound in sales following a slow start to the year. In its January flash report, sales of all tractors fell 21% compared to January of 2023. Now, most categories were lower except for four-wheel drive tractors, which came in even year over year. Combine sales were also down about 5% lower. Meanwhile, the National Cotton Council releasing its survey on acreage. It says U.S. cotton producers intend to plant 9.8 million acres. That's down about 3.7% compared to a year ago. Cotton futures starting the week off strong, above $91 per hundred, although harvest season prices are still in the low to mid 80s. And with farm income expected to be lower this year, what does the market look like for new products? According to a poll by Agri-Marketing Magazine, 90% of agribusinesses plan to launch new products or services this year. A third of companies say they plan to roll out 10 or more new products or services. Another third said between five and nine. And as the weather warms up, get ready for a flush of insects this spring and summer. That includes those noisy cicadas. According to entomologists, two cicada broods are set to emerge at the same time for the first time in more than two centuries. That means nearly a trillion cicadas could buzz the countryside once soil warms to about 64 degrees. It's not expected to be an issue for crops as cicadas don't eat solid foods, only fluids. Experts say only the males sing, females are silent. Now, you can eat them, and apparently they taste like cold canned asparagus. Females are higher in protein. And that's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Today, 
When you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Our friends at Matichek Implement in Faribault, Minnesota are having an online auction on Thursday, February 29th on auctiontime.com. No reserve prices, no buyer fees, no loading fees. Four quad tracks, including a pair of 2023 Steiger 620 AFS Connect quad tracks with 719 and 946 hours. Also a 2022 model 620 quad track with 1,999 hours and a 22 model 580 quad track with 573 hours. Pair of 2022 KSH Magnum 340s with 928 and 1,743 hours. Also two row track models selling, a 2015 340 row track with 1,838 hours and a newer 22 model 380 row track CVX with 1,646 hours. All eight tractors sell with warranty. For info and bidding, go to matacheck.com and click the inventory tab, then auctions and clearance link, or visit auctiontime.com. Mark your calendar for February 29th to bid on these eight sharp Case H tractors. Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. Hey folks, I'm here with owner Mike Stetzel with Stetzel Farms. And Mike, uh, my friend Zach Heiner with Merit Auction told me every time they have a sale, he sort of asked the owner, are you comfortable getting phone calls? And he said, you dove right in and said, yeah. You, you wanted to talk to people when they would call. Yeah, I got them calls from what, where, where you grew up, what, up north. Up and, north, uh, nice. North, north Carolina, Iowa, Tennessee, Kentucky, all over. So that phone's been buzzing. Yeah, a little too much now and then. Well, I'm not surprised with a tractor like this, a, a sweet 786 here, open station. Uh, what can you tell us about this baby? Oh, I got, uh, my dad got that off of uh, one of his friends. He bought it new and he wanted a little bit bigger tractor and had about 200 hours on it. So okay. uh, we just bought it and brought it home and had it ever since. So this thing's really never left the area? No. Okay. It's about 10 miles north and of here. I forget now on the sale bill, how many hours on this That's thing? That's pretty low. I'd have to look on it. Is it like 7,000 or something? No, or? it's uh, probably 4,000 and oh, some. Oh, that, okay. And that's why the, the online bid was uh, already racing pretty good on this thing. You no, know, it, it, uh, that and the uh, 8940 is going pretty hard. Yeah. And uh, did you grow up always having the red tractors on the farm? Yeah, that's all like, we ever had. Okay. Is there any other? <laughs> well, hey, no, that's awesome. And, and where does this 786 rank in your memory on, on your like favorite tractors with international? Well, it was been a nice tractor, but I like I like a lot older ones. You remember them more. Hey folks, we're gonna have a little fun here, getting up close to something I don't see very often, a one owner, two plus two tractor, Mike, your 3588, low hours on it, 5,791 hours. Yeah. Uh, who did you buy it from back in the day? I got it off of Carl Reed uh, Implements, uh, IH dealer in, over in Huntington. Now you told me before we started filming here that you traded in your... 1066. And I know you loved That's 1066. That's one of my favorite tractors. And what was the sticker on this thing back? It's probably around 45 to 50,000. Okay. And now this one, did I see on the sale bill, it does have a reman engine? Yep. Got a remand engine. How many years ago was that now? Oh, probably eight. Okay. Maybe seven. I don't know. I don't remember. I understand you've been getting a few phone calls on this. Thing. Yeah, there's a lot of people still looking for them. You I know, guess. when I when I parked my pickup and, and started walking over here, two guys from Southern Indiana jumped me and said, "Pete, tell us about that uh, two plus two. It's been a good tractor. 
And hard to find them too. Well, and, you know, when I got that, you put duels on it, you couldn't get it stuck. It's pretty good tractor. One right. mechanical front ends come in on the others. Right. Um, of course, it took 10 miles to turn them around. <laughs> you can with that, but that's right. what, that was the demise of those. Now, Mike, I know you are a big tractor puller. You, you never pulled with this thing. No, no. Yeah. But what, uh, but you've been pulling since you were a young fella here. Yeah, pretty young. Okay. What was the first tractor that you pulled with? Uh, a John Deere 720. A green one? Diesel. How did the green one sneak in? Well, Mike? the neighbor had it, and we snuck it to town at a deadweight pole and brought it back, but I was just scared to kill it. I didn't have a clue how to start it with a pony motor. Wow. And you, uh, what do you, what do you pull these days? I got a Super Am, and there's about 10 of us that travel all over. Okay. Doing. And you do ramble. You get down to Mississippi. And, and go to Tunica, and we get up to Michigan, and go to Kentucky, and... Illinois. Well, Mike, I'm, I'm excited on your 3588 because I looked last night, the online bid was already up to the fourth highest one I've ever seen. Oh, really? So this will be interesting. Someone's going to get a nice one here. That, that's true. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Egg Pro Large Egg Preseason Online Auction is Tuesday, February 27th. No reserve sale with no buyer fees. 40 plus tractor selling, including 15 23 models, 3 23 John Deere 8R 370s from Ohio, 7 sprayers, including a pair of 22 models, 15 planters, including 3 23 models, 8 UTVs, including 5 23 model John Deere 835M Gators. Sale by Merit Auctions. Online bidding at proxybid.com. For more info, visit eggprocompanies.com. Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna be taking off these 800 metric Goodyear LSWs and putting on 320s, narrow ones. Man, that uh, tire grabber system is incredible. I think it took us less than 45 minutes to change them for the first time. I guarantee you it's gonna be quicker than that next time. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint, Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Egg Innovations, a company with a 20 year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here at the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, and we're going to talk about the latest in sprayer technology with Kyle Berry from Deere. And tell us 
What's the latest with the updates on the sprayer front? Yeah, so our latest upgrade uh, from the sprayer portfolio is CN Spray Premium. Uh, and I have a camera and a processor here, but okay. when a customer buys CN Spray Premium, they get greater than 50% herbicide savings uh, on their, their chemical application. So as they're going through the field, this camera is identifying weeds from plants and actually spraying just the weeds, uh, mm -hmm. reducing the herbicide cost. Are you getting uh, a little more lean in this year here at the show? Yeah, we've had a lot of really good conversations um, around CN Spray Premium, and, and we've actually uh, priced this at $25,000 all in. So uh, for the hardware and the installation of these kits, you can get them for $25,000. Really perks people's interest because of that lower upfront cost. Right. Um, and then they only pay for what they use. So um, if you're not using CN Spray, uh, you don't pay John Deere. But if you are, um, we have a per acre model, um, whether it's corn, soybeans, or cotton um, and also fallow ground. CN Spray Premium is compatible with model year 2018 newer R-Series John Deere sprayers. You have to have exact apply, nozzle control, Boom Track Pro 2, and a 120 foot steel boom. What's been the feedback from growers that have, you know, got it going for them? Yeah, it's one of those technologies you have to experience to believe. As we talk to growers who have experienced and demoed and purchased the technology, um, they're blown away with what it can really do. And, and you can see it, and we do a lot of demonstrations with blue dye in the tank to show the machine actually identifying those weeds and spraying just the weeds, but it's been pretty incredible. Now, if growers have specific questions, where can they get more information? And they can visit with their local John Deere dealer uh, to talk all things upgrades from John Deere, or they can also visit us on our website at deer.com slash upgrade. Okay, folks, you want to talk about a rear tractor, we got one here with our friend Mike Smith from Marion, Ohio. Mike, your 724320, it's yellow and it's front wheel assist. Tell us yeah. about this thing. Well, the thing is, it's, um, it's a factory documented through Deere that it, it was a factory front wheel and they made three of them. Uh, I guess basically painted three of them that yeah. color. Yep. And there was a uh, Sheriff's Department of Fresno, California. Hmm. And they had had 4020s before, and I, the way I take it, they needed a little bit more horsepower. Sure. So they they had they ordered these three, and uh, I'm for, very fortunate to have one of them. What do people say when they see your your industrial yellow 4320 front wheel? I mean, one of three, it, it must turn a lot of heads. When well, you see say. them scratch your heads. They're like they don't understand. You know what's what's the yellow? Why? So right. you explain to them why and wh where it comes from, and then they're like, oh, well that makes sense. And, and Mike, it's sort of your thing. You're trying to collect these, these 20 series factory front wheel assist. Is that correct? Open station? Yes. When I get done, I'll have a full line of what I guess basically call a full line of uh, front wheel new gens, starting with the 3020, I have the 4020, I have the 4320 in the green and the yellow. And we have, we'll have, I'll have the 4230 and the 4430, which both of them are open stations also. And they're factory for sure. Now is this like your, your kid's mic, it's, is it hard to pick your favorite or, or do you have to pick the, the rare one of three, the yellow, the yellow well, one? Well, my dad always taught me buy the rare one. Don't see how many you can buy, but buy the rare ones. So it's kind of rare, but this one I'm standing in front of is kind of, kind of special in my heart because I like this one. Hey, stay with us folks, coming up. Our feature item on the show today, a good condition pre-def tractor, this late 90s Case H 8940. This thing's got 4,562 hours on it. Today, when you're looking for a way to harvest more corn, you can count on Drago to get the job done. With self-adjusting deck plates, more aggressive gathering chains, and longer knife rollers for less ear bounce, Drago corn heads make every hybrid yield better. You'll like their durability too. No other corn head works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain on stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. 
Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, we're back here with Mike Stetzel and Mike, the uh, featured tractor on our show today. Makes me smile, 8940, low hours, 4562. What, uh, what can you tell us about this baby? Well, I was looking one for quite a while, and I red line over there at Huntington, uh, Corey found, found one, and so I latched onto it pretty quick. So red line equipment, yeah. They take one in like this, it's not gonna sit very long, is it? No. So, of course, here we're late 90s, pre-def. Uh, where do you fall, Mike, on the pre-def versus the newer engines and all the computer well, stuff? Well, uh, they're easy to work on. You don't have all that electronic stuff and all that. Yeah. You can fix it yourself. Boy, I can tell you on the auction side, I think last year we saw the average price go up 19.5%, which, you know, for a 25, 30 year old rig is, uh, that says something about that pre-def, well, doesn't it? They're selling for more than what they were new. Right, right. So how have you used this since you got it back to the farm? Well, I, uh, I run the, the minimum tillage and the ripper and okay. the bigger stuff, and sometimes I put it on a grain cart. And Mike, I think someone's calling you about the 8940 yeah, right I now. About it. I get, <laughs> You've been getting a lot of calls on this thing, haven't you? Yeah, that, the, 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 yeah these through here I have quite yeah. a bit, quite a few states. Yeah. The last guy was, uh, it was in Western Iowa. Western Iowa. Trying That's to a little ways out, from morning. Trying to yeah. figure out how you can get it home. Nice. Hey, if they're asking how, about, how do I get it home before the bidding is done, that's a good thing, Mike. <laughs> well, that's true. And uh, I tell you another good thing is to stand here in front of your beautiful line of red tractors. Mike, it's been so fun to uh, get up close with them, and uh, thank you for telling us about it. Well, thanks a lot. Good. Well, folks, I don't know about you, but every year has different connotations or memories for me. So, for example, if you said to me 2011, First thing I'm going to think of is our youngest daughter, Josie. That was the year she graduated high school. I can't believe that's coming on 13 years ago now. But of course, the year 2011 and 2010 in our equipment world has special meaning in terms of uh, last year pre-DEF, pre-Tier 4 engines. So we've seen very strong uh, bidding demand for buyers on all types of equipment uh, with 2010 and 2011 model years. We saw a recent example of that just this past Saturday on a consignment auction in Elk City, Oklahoma, where this very sharp, like new 2011 New Holland H8060 Windrower, only had 184 hours on it, came off a local farm retirement line. So for 116,000 bucks. Now that's not just a record high auction price on an H8060, that's a record by over 30,000 bucks. Now, I also think of a sale we filmed for our Machinery Repeat TV show back in the middle of December in Chillicothe, Missouri, where uh, this very sharp 2010 John Deere 9770 STS combine, 1,356 separator hours on it, I believe, sold for $188,000. Now, that's the second highest auction price all of last year on a John Deere 9770. And we won't forget about you Red fans. Let's go back uh, back in the summer of 23, another auction we filmed for our TV show, Colo, Iowa, central part of the state. This 2011 KSH Magnum 335, just over 1,800 hours on it, went for 207,500 bucks. And that was the second highest auction price ever on a Magnum 335. Hey folks, thanks for joining us this week on Machinery PTV. Always great fun to go back to Indiana and fun to get up close with Mike Stetzel on his beautiful line of red tractors. How about that boxcar 8940? Highest auction price ever, over 4,500 hours. We'll see you back here next week. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone.